Hey guys, so skipping mortgage payments when you do a purchase or a refinance. Uh, I heard an advertisement on a radio recently where uh, a lending company was pitching the fact that you're able to skip to mortgage payments when you do a refinance, which can be true. I wanted to talk a little bit about that and kind of let you know how that works. Uh, first of all, you know, when you bought your house, when you purchase any house, you don't have a mortgage payment until the following month. So for example, if I close in November, at any point in November, I'm not going to have a mortgage payment December 1st. The first payment on my new loan is going to be due January 1st. Now, I still pay prepaid interest from the day that I close to the end of the month, to the end of, so for the November example, from the day that I close until the end of the month, I have prepaid interest, but that's included in with my closing costs and my prepaid expenses at closing. So um, if I close super early, in, say, say I close November 1st, you know, it, it is about two months until my first payment is made. So um, there's that, except you do pay more prepaid interest on uh, on that loan, on a purchase if you're closing earlier in the month. Um, real quick too, just to kind of bring this up, a lot of people ask about this, you know, your payment is typically, it, well, it's always due on the first, but it's not late until the 15th. So you don't pay any late charges until after the 15th of the month. And then it's not reported as a late to the credit bureaus unless you're 30 days late. So on a refi, the way that you can skip two payments is, um, let's use this November example where I'm closing in November. If I close before the 15th and I don't make my November 1st payment, um, let's say I close November 5th. So if I close November 5th, then I'm paying that mortgage off and um, it's gonna be done with by the 15th. So before they can register me with a late payment, I'm paying my, my mortgage off. So I, I basically skip my November payment by doing that. Then because I'm still closing in November, I don't have a payment December 1st on my new loan. My new, my new payment's gonna be January 1st. So that's how you can set it up to where you can skip two payments on a refinance. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. Or if you need anything else, let me know. Otherwise, hope you're having a great holiday season and I will talk to you soon. Thanks.